So let's uh, let's let's use this as a jump off point for what I'm going to talk about because this seems to represent a good chunk of TikTok. This is my buddy Ryan Beard. Uh, you know I love Ryan, <clears throat> I really do. I just very much disagree with what he's saying. Um, but let's watch the song, and this way we can start and end our YouTube video with a little Ryan Beard. Yeah, so let's do it. Straight TikTok is filled with spineless pieces of shit. I wonder, does it get tiring sucking on Tony's dick? He sexted a 15 year old just like Gemini. <sighs> but all you fucking sick of fans choose to turn a blind eye. Fuck you, Tony Lopez. All my friends hate Tony Lopez. And fuck you too if you won't listen. I hope he fucking rots in prison. That was a so Brian Beard is great at music. I just think that this video is ridiculous. We're gonna you're gonna deconstruct this before moving into this. So straight TikTok <laughs> is filled with spineless pieces of shit. So like let's talk like what the hell is straight TikTok? I mean like you not not for nothing, but like alt TikTok and LGBT TikTok, they have the ability to cancel people for making faces. So if you think it's just straight TikTok, you're fucking out of your mind. Nobody cares. In fact, uh, the LGBT community doesn't give a fuck unless you're slightly offending them. That's the only time they're going to cancel somebody. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like alt and LGBT, like they don't give a fuck. Nobody, gi nobody gives a fuck. That's my point I'm trying to make. I wonder, does it get tired of <sighs> sucking on Tony's dick? He sexted a 15-year-old just like Gemini. So let's talk about that really quick. Um, so during the chain of events... There, we came to a point where we found out the one 15 year old girl from the Gemini situation came forward. Myself, Ryan Beard, and several other big creators were in my stream talking to Gemini about it. And all of us, we all of us were like, oh, okay. Well, now we understand. We allowed him to, and I'm not even going to say we allowed him to manipulate us because shame on fucking us, especially me. I'm older. But we kind of like, we were like, eh. Like, you know, everybody was chatting like, oh, okay, that's not, we okay, we get where you're coming. You know what I mean? There wasn't a lot of grilling. Nobody really seemed to give too much of a shit. And Ryan, you were part of that. So this whole idea, um, you know, it's uncomfortable because I'm not going to get into what happened and why we really gave a shit about the Gemini situation. But like, it was almost a fucking miracle that any of us cared about Gemini. Well, it's just, I'll be honest about it. Um, I, but uh also, Tony Lopez, there's no case of him talking to a 15-year-old and sexting them, okay? I'm going to tell you this. I went over it in my video, but basically, the one girl who was adamant about trying to cancel him, <clears throat> she was 15, um, she was trying to cancel him, she was trying to catch him in a corner. There's one instance where she apparently, on her Snapchat, had a birthday post about her turning 16, and he responded, oh, you young. Right? Now, first and foremost, we can't even confirm that was actually a 16-year-old birthday post. And the reason I'm very hold to that is because she was trying to cancel him, and yet she couldn't produce the evidence by simply clicking on the core picture. But even if they did engage, it was after she was 16. And I've said it before, and it's uncomfortable, but in his hometown, age of consent is 16 years old. In every state in the United States, there is a um, there's some form of Romeo and Juliet clause that protects people. So while it's gross, uncomfortable, and uncomfortable socially, legally, he's not necessarily in the wrong. Yeah, the soliciting pictures is illegal, but we're talking about whether he should be labeled a predator or not. I don't see Tony Lopez as a predator, not a child predator, and not like a predator in general okay and i'm going to move that i'm going to talk more about that i'm going to get into that once we get through this the the, the true differences between the two but i wanted to make that because honestly i think that everybody's so adamant about throwing around like oh this person is this it's like come on honestly you know i'm not trying to be a fucking asshole but like a problem I have with this video, and I love Ryan Beard, uh, and I understand he had a lot of shit going on, but it's like we had, you know, this whole to this whole Gemini thing happened, right? We we I, you know, the Gemini situation happened. Um, you know, I I mean I pushed it, it got, and then he got canceled, which is great because he was a legitimate predator. 
And then Ryan Beard needed to take a break. Uh, I know part of that, I think, was because he did a 24-hour stream. It really fucked him up. But during that time, Calvin, Joe Robe's friend, raped a girl. Um, and you're Joe Robe's friend as well. And, you know, you didn't talk about that situation. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. And then you come back and now you're all up in Tony Lopez's shit. And it's like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's like, Jesus Christ, man. You know? You, you, you know? It's like... The hard fights people don't really take, but when it's like easy and when everybody's all over it and it's like trendy to shit on somebody, all of a sudden everybody's up in arms. I'm just, I'm just being honest, man. I'm really just being honest. Are you fucking sick of fans so. who choose to turn a blind eye? Fuck you, Tony Lopez. All my friends hate Tony Lopez. So we get that. So. We're just using this as a bridge, really, to talk about the differences between Tony Lopez and Gemini Official, okay? Now, let's go through everything we do know, and we'll even talk about the speculation. So, Tony Lopez um, has an issue of engaging with girls who are in very uncomfortable ages. First and foremost, um, age was never really established, at least publicly. I mean, none of the girls that come forward can ever prove that like there was ever an exchange of age, which is still uncomfortable. Legally, that's not a defense, but we're talking about this from more of a social perspective. Is Gemini a predator, right? And I would say no. Is he stupid? Yes, but a predator. Is he somebody who tries to predatorize? I would say no, okay? Every girl who's come forward has, again, never established age, but we're all at least 16 years or older. The one girl that was apparently 15, not only was she doing everything in her power to try to, tr to, try to trap him, that was her whole goal. With this whole, I made a whole video on it. Um, but there's also one point where she says uh, she might have said she was 16. It was supposed. It was apparently she put up a birthday post on Snapchat and he responded, oh, you young. But for somebody trying to cancel Tony, my biggest issue is why didn't she just show us what the original post is? All you have to do is click on it. Okay. But either way, if the narrative is that she turned 16, he's waiting until somebody is 16. Is it gross? Yes. But I would argue that, first of all, age of consent in his state is 16. Second of all, there's a Romeo and Juliet clause of like four years in every state. So it's considered kind of okay. Now, socially, I don't think that it's true. I think socially, it's been it's great how we're shifting very radically or not radically, very heavily in a positive direction of like those ages not being appropriate. I would say that like we should really consider a new standard when it comes to those age ranges instead of four years, maybe three or two. But because it's legal, there's an argument to be made that the reason Tony's engaging with these people is specifically because he's protected by the law. And if the law was changed, if I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, which I'm going to because I try to give everybody a benefit of the doubt, he wouldn't be engaging with these people. You know? So, again, stupid, yes. Predator, no. Okay? <clears throat> so... Let's go through the chain of events really quick. Tony, talking to girls who weren't, who, you know, were 16 or older, still gross and uncomfortable, not establishing age. Um, you know, then he decided, and there seemed to be girls that were closer to his age range too. They just didn't come forward, right? Uh, he just seems to be doing this to girls, right? Um, and then he got caught. And he made an apology that was like, I fucked up and I'm sorry. I was inappropriate behavior. And that inappropriate behavior, regardless of whether it's legal or not, was still gross socially um, to like not ask age and to talk to girls who were like, you know, four years younger than him. It's very uncomfortable. So he apologized for that. To me, that doesn't speak to predatory behaviors. OK, it speaks to uncomfortable behaviors. I don't. I'm not sitting here like, oh my God, I love Tony Lopez. But like, we need to be honest because we throw around what a predator is so, so ridiculously. Like, we don't understand the weight of the words, you know? Yeah, that could be something that could get you killed by falsely labeling somebody a predator. And everybody jumping on the bandwagon just to cancel Tony, I find it rather ignorant. Okay. Now, let's. Uh, talk about that in relation to Gemini, very, very different situation, right? So they have a similar upbringing. Um, I don't know if Tony ever slept with any of these girls. I don't That was never confirmed. He may have. Um, again, he's protected. It's still gross. So Gemini, you know, on the flip side, 19-year-old engaged with a 15-year-old sexually. Uh, well, let's start from the beginning, beginning, right? So Ruby, one of the, like another content creator right here, she tried to set him up. She only took a day. And then she, it wasn't good enough. I still maintain that the relationship that these two relationship, she tried to, in a day, establish that he was flirting with her. 
a 20-year-old f- awkwardly flirting with a 16-year-old isn't a big deal. It's not comfortable, but it's not illegal. So to cancel his platform, and that's the perspective I took. After this broke, though, uh, this girl came forward, and she actually, um, you know, she had engaged with Gemini. Um, and, you know, that took a turn. I gave, I, I gave her a platform. I stayed out of it largely because at that point I thought it was a police matter. Um, I remember talking to this girl, she, she came to me and I was like, listen, this, I think this is a police matter now. I'm not sure there's a lot I can do because it was just like very gross and involved and like throwing around the label of predator. It can be very difficult. Um, he then decided to apologize and this is the big point where like his apology wasn't an apology See, Tony Lopez like took accountability and moved on uh Gemini tried to gaslight all of us um and like victim blame wholly and it was a really gross uncomfortable apology he did that three times right I would argue if his apology was decent we wouldn't be here today and he wouldn't have been canceled however there after while his three apologies were coming out and getting completely shit on by me he, there was also a lot of other people coming forward and saying a lot of other things that make him seem much more predatory, not even just like, not even child predatory, okay? The big ones here, first and foremost, was that there was like a large content creator who came forward and uh, said that he had taken advantage of her while she was drunk and bruised her, and she showed the bruises. That's not something Tony Lopez ever did, Okay. Uh, Gemini was registering himself as a minor on some kind of a pseudo dating app, right? Rather uncomfortable. Um, not something Tony Lopez seemed to do, right? Because the only way you could talk to minors on that app is if you registered as a minor. And Gemini registered as a minor. Uncomfortable. He would, uh, Gemini would constantly weaponize mental health and be like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, this. And like to get people to engage with him. That's predatory behavior. That's emotionally manipulative behavior. And. Uh, Gemini would constantly use his position of power to try to get girls to engage with him. He would be like, oh, you know, if you talk to me in some capacity, I have a real, I have a deal. Oh, I got this deal. You should talk to me again. I got this deal here. Oh, maybe I could help you out here. Maybe if you come to this house, I could get you. Yeah. So that's predatory power dynamic behavior. Right. Again, Tony, there's no instance of him using his, his, his position as like some kind of a power dynamic and. Or like leveraging his position as a big creator to like sleep with girls. Now you might be you, like to end this off. You might be sitting there and saying, "But yeah, but there's still a power dynamic. Tony is Tony is famous, so he has to watch his words." I get what you're saying, but here's the thing: somebody being generally more equitable doesn't mean that every engagement that they have is some kind of a power dynamic issue, right? Like this is what I'm gonna say. Like let's say I'm Papa Gut, right? I got like a million, 1.4 million followers. Let's say I'm in public and a girl comes and like, "Oh." Like, oh, you're Papa Gut. Like, I like you. You're cute. Like, I want to I wanna give you smooches, right? If I smooch her, it's fine. The fact that I'm famous, right, is something that makes me as an individual more equitable and makes me more desirable. Now, if she walked up to me and said, hey, how are you? And I said, oh, you know, if you give me smooches, I can help your TikTok career. That's, that's abuse of power dynamics. And that's like the biggest, that, that would be the issue. He never did that. He did do that, right? Tony Lopez didn't. Gemini did. All right. So that's the difference between the two of these and why I'm not labeling Tony a predator. He walks a fine line of like behavior that's, it's, well, it's very inappropriate regardless, but it's not like he's 30 years old talking to 15 year olds where he would know better. He's a 20 year old who's in that gray area, four year space where like age of consent is like, if finicky especially in his area um so like to say a predator no i just say a dumb kid now to, actually to really end this off people would probably say like oh but he's in california so if he engages with minors in california they're much more strict actually it's the opposite just so you guys know in california unlike florida or any other state where there's so usually a four-year like uh romeo and juliet clause um in California, there's not. It's very strict. If any minor engages with any anybody, even another minor, it's illegal. The reason I'm bringing it up is because there is um, there is a law that basically says that if you're within the age range of 14 to 17 years old and you engage with somebody 10 years older than you, it's up to the judge to determine whether that person um, is would be registered as a sex offender or be a predator, basically. And I'm guaranteeing you that a 14 and a, or excuse me, a 16 and a 20 year old, they're not going to, they're not going to legally screw Tony over or not even screw Tony over. They're not going to legally get him. I won't even say screw him over. 
Again, I don't. I, it's very uncomfortable. Those age ranges are really gross. I understand they exist because people who are in like school, they're like when you're an 18 year old in school with 14 year olds, you have a, a mentality that's rather similar. Being the space that you're in and the environment that you're constantly in has a lot of impact on you as an individual. So, like if you took a, a an 18 year old and you put them in the workforce, they're going to be more mature than an 18 year old that goes to college, right? Um, you know, and I know that you can go to college and go to the workforce, but you understand my point. It's about like the place that you're hanging out. Like if you're an 18 year old hanging out with 17 year olds in high school, you're going to be far less mature than an 18 year old who's in who's in work. That's my point. But you know, very nuanced, complicated situation. But I wanted to bring light as to why. That what the pure difference is between the two. They're drastically different. There's no establishment that Tony Lopez is an actual predator. And I think it's gross when people just try to say that they are. I want to say thank you so much, guys, to all my Patreons. And a special shout out to my Papa XL Patreons. Without all you guys, I would just be some fat dude screaming into a microphone. So thank you so much, guys. I love you all. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face. But just as a friend There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face